Join us as we go on a tour of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. We will be starting at Traveler's Rest and going into Greenville. This tour is approximately 12 miles round trip. We are starting from the History Museum in Traveler's Rest and our ultimate goal will be to get to the Swamp Rabbit Cafe and then we'll turn around and come back. After hitting the trail, our first stop is approximately half a mile away and this is to this fun little fitness park where you'll find lots of equipment to do exercises on. Once you've enjoyed your time at this park, hit the trail again and remember some safety tips. When you are passing people on the trail, make sure you pass the left and then either ring your bell on your bike or if you don't have one, make sure to call out and let them know that you are passing on their left. You will be coming up to a caboose pretty shortly and it is the Furman caboose. That will be the first of two caboose that you will see when you are on this trail. That is one and a half miles away from the fitness park that you just stopped at. When you arrive at this caboose, stop and look for the little bunny creatures that start this scavenger hunt type of game called Mystery on the Swamp Rabbit. This game will take you from one caboose to the next. As you hit the trail again, remember that it's now two miles until the next caboose. You will be crossing lots of streets. Important safety tips for when you're crossing streets is to make sure that you stop completely, look both ways, make sure your adult is ready to cross, and then cross. Lots of these intersections are really busy and not all of them have a little light that will help you cross. If you were looking for the rabbits on the trail while you went from caboose to caboose, you will have found six. The final one to find is at this caboose here in Berea. When you pull up, you'll see a caboose and you'll see a beautiful wall mural to enjoy. This will be your water stop before you head on out to the Swamp Rabbit Cafe. The fun thing about this trip is that it can be broken down into nice two mile segments. From the caboose to the Swamp Rabbit Cafe, you just have a short two miles left to go. And then you can enjoy popsicles, ice cream, or a smoothie. I know we always take a stop and enjoy some treats. And remember to keep your eyes out for cars. Lots of road crossings in between section to section. So here we are at the Swamp Rabbit. They have a fun little lending library and lots of treats. Once you've finished enjoying that popsicle in the shade, it's time to head back home. And hopefully, unlike me, you won't get caught in a little blip on your ride back to your car. Next time you come, make sure that you check the weather forecast. Unlike me, we went in the middle of a storm. Getting caught in a storm is not as much fun as it looks. So now I will be double and triple checking the weather before I head out. Thank you for joining our tour today. Now go ahead, grab your helmet, grab your parents, grab your bike, and go give this little tour a try. Have fun!